Welcome back to the garage here at Basin Motorsports. I'm Kanan, and a lot of times your manual transmission Corvette needs to have the clutch fluid changed. Now, a lot of times you're gonna think, how the heck do I do that? There's no way to get the fluid out because the bleeder nipple on the slave cylinder is all the way tucked in the bell housing. Well, today I'm gonna show you a simple way to get some of the fluid and gunk out using the Ranger method. So gradually over time, your clutch fluid is going to wear and get gunky. So this is my clutch cylinder with my reservoir. And you can see down in there, that clutch fluid is quite delicious, you could say. It's black. So what we're going to do is just simply cover the area up. You can see I have an old t-shirt here to prevent any spills on anything. I'm going to use simply disposable towels to use that to bounty quicker picker upper and I'm gonna suck out all the fluid, wipe out the reservoir in there and then I'm gonna add in fluid and just uh, basically cycle the pedal to kind of mix the fluid up and get as much out as I can and just keep this process going until I feel like most of that fluid is out. All right, taking all the fluid out doesn't take a lot. The first paper towel, and I use three of them the first paper towel come out and takes out most of the fluid and I've just got it kind of sitting in here an old uh, piece of milk jug I think or water but you can see down in there that one took the first one the next one gets a lot of the gunk and the third one kind of gets the remainder so you've got a lot of your kind of your gunkiness in there what you get left with is a clean clean uh, cylinder or good enough and what I'm going to do now is throw in some new DOT brake fluid out of a fresh, uh, fresh bottle here I just bought. And then I'm gonna put the cap back on. I'm gonna go inside, cycle it a bunch so that I get a lot of this fluid kind of mixed up. And then we'll see um, a fresh reservoir with some dirty fluid in it. Hopefully it'll mix new and old and kind of get uh, a lot of the junk to bubble up into here. And then I'll do the same thing. Uh, take the fluid out with paper towels and then I will uh, refill it. And that should be about it. All right, so I gave it 25 pumps with the clutch and everything still feels very good. Um, you know, I just don't know that I'm gonna get that any better. Looking down in there, I can clearly see down in it. Uh, I really don't think I'm gonna get anything else out with uh, getting rid of that fluid, wiping it out again and such. I am going to leave it for today and uh, just drive the car a bunch and then keep an eye on it. If it gets kind of dirty again, uh, after wiping everything out, I will just redo it. Well, that was a much simpler job than I honestly expected. I'd seen online of people going, oh, it's the Ranger method and it's horrible and everything else. It took me three paper towels, a fresh bottle of brake fluid, which I think was like four bucks or something, three and a half, four dollars. You don't need a lot because it's only like this much of it's in there. And even if you have to do it twice, it's like this much and you don't need much at all. So four bucks, a few paper towels, and maybe, maybe 15 minutes. I think it took me longer to get some gloves on and get everything ready than to actually do the work. So that's the Ranger method. Get all the fluid out, wipe out everything inside, put in new fluid, cycle it, see what happens, if it needs more or less, and make sure the pedal feel uh, is pretty, still pretty good. And that is it. The Ranger method, pretty simple. And that's it for this time. We'll see you next time from Basin Motorsports. Go enjoy that Corvette.